Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stubana eCommerce TV. My name is Chad Rubin, the CEO of Stubana, along with the eCommerce Renegade. And today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is listing tools. I can't tell you how many sellers are calling us up on a daily basis that are asking us if we're a listing tool. And the answer is no. But I also question why would someone ever want to use a listing tool? It's one of the biggest rookie mistakes that you can make in e-commerce. And let me tell you why. And I'm also today going to tell you there's a new way to look at doing business online. So the biggest, biggest, biggest red flag for listings is actually duplicate content. When you take a product and you list it on every single channel out there, you're plastering the e-commerce space with content. It's all the same content. And what happens for indexing purposes is that Google, for example, gets confused. It doesn't know what to include in their indices. So they only allow one listing and they accept Amazon's listing because they have a lot more page rank history than others that are online. The thing is, is that all marketplaces and sales channels are created differently. And what sells on Amazon doesn't sell on eBay. So for Amazon, they have a character limitation in the title, they have feature bullet points, they have a product description, a long description, and what's important to Amazon is actually different from eBay. So when you post the same content to all the channels, what happens is, is that things on eBay, for example, get cut off. So the character limitations on eBay get squeezed, and then you have to go back in and redo it. So if you're gonna do it, why not create the most unique content the first time where all of your listings are gonna get indexed in the search engine? The most important thing is you wanna create unique content. And I put the most unique content on crucialvacuum.com, which is my e-commerce property. When people go to Amazon, they go to Amazon because it's a vending machine approach. When you're buying on Amazon, it's Coke or Pepsi. They're not experts. If you want to live chat them, you'll talk to somebody in India. When people come to my own site, which is my second biggest channel that I have, people come to us because we're unique. We have a narrative with our customers. Our value prop is, hey, we're the expert. Come to our website. There's a phone number. You can talk to a real human being. We have free shipping, free returns, but if you ever need anything, we're here for you. We also have amazing videos as tutorials for our customers. The idea is that you want to create unique content across as many channels as you possibly can, and you never want to automate it. You never want to use a listing tool to just take your product and list it across the channels. And the other thing is that these listing tools, they take a percentage of revenue. So one time they take your product, they feed it to these channels, which are going to be dis disallowed on the indices anyway. They feed it to the channel, and then for the lifetime of the product on Amazon, on eBay, on Shopify, they take a cut, they take a piece of your wallet. And I am vehemently against sharing my wallet with other technology companies. It's just something I never believed in. So I'm here to tell you today, there's a new way of doing business. This is why I do these videos, to change your perspective. So what you wanna start doing is thinking about the calorie of the content that you're putting out in your listings. What sells on Amazon, A plus content. I put eBay with F plus content. The cheaper it looks, the better it sells on eBay. On my own site, I create the most rich, robust content I possibly can. And so instead of using a listing tool, what you wanna do is automate the operational aspect of your business. You wanna automate low value activities. So like one thing that we do at Scubana, we take the thinking out of creating purchase orders. Instead of having a purchasing team look through all your sell-through, your velocity, your mins, your lead times, and putting together purchase orders, we'll actually put it together for you and automate the entire process awaiting your approval. That's just one example. You want to find technology to automate the operational process. So for Crucial, which is a very, very large business. We've automated every function of the business where I take high value activities and take my most important employees and I have them creating listings. It's the most important part of our business. It's the first thing that people see when they come to our storefront. 
It's the first thing people see when they go to Amazon. You don't wanna just blindly throw listings up and see what sticks. You wanna spend time creating listings, but you wanna automate the operational aspect of it. So you do that with technology. Secondly, you wanna think about your SKU to order ratio. How efficient are you with the SKUs that you have? And we'll talk about that in later episodes. But the other thing that I'm trying to express in this video and the takeaway I want you to walk away with from this is think about your content. Every channel is created differently. Create unique content across all of your channels because that is the way to win in e-commerce. The way to win in e-commerce is not done by throwing things up and seeing what's gonna sell. You want people to convert. You want your product on Amazon to be best-selling rank. You want your product in your own shopping cart to also index really well and hit long tail content in the Google search engine. And by taking this advice, that is the way that you're gonna win e-commerce.